Maybe that's the city of New Orleans, Ben. Or David, or anybody. Do you guys have any questions about the project? or The length of time that it took to reach this point, is just the nature of planning on financing? Is that the best way to say it? Or complex financing deal? Well, I think a combination of all of the above. Um, there was some um, unexpected hiccups along the way, not only on the local level, but on the congressional level, too. Uh, again, these are public-private partnerships. There's some tax credits that are involved. The historic trust is involved. Uh, and those complex mechanisms, I think, pushed it back a little bit. Uh, I don't think that the future of the project was ever uh, in doubt, but there were some very, very tough times that all of these individuals behind me worked through uh, in a very difficult way, including uh, pushing off uh, a little bit of time so that we could make sure that we got through the legislative process on the historic tax credits. Uh, the city, as you know, put up some money to help kind of solidify the financing for a period of time, but now it's all done. We're ready to we're ready to go. Cindy, you want to I, I add just, anything to that? I think I stopped counting at 3,000 emails related <laughs> to the transaction, and there are over 375 documents that this team worked on to put this deal into place. So it's a complicated financial transaction that would not be, have been done without this group here who works our, in our private and public partners. So, Craig, I'll do one, one more. Sure. There's been, in recent days, uh, Building next to the Sanger, the, the LaSalle Hotel, there's been a lot of talk among council members who are opposed uh, what they're planning there. Is is everybody on board with that now? Is the administration on board with the plans well, for the LaSalle Hotel? We, we, all of these things are complicated, right? And um, there, are particular, there are a couple of pieces of property that are not part of this project. Uh, a lot of those issues are working through the Louisiana Housing, Housing Finance Authority. We're trying to work with all the parties to make sure that all the laws are complied with. Uh, and to make sure that the highest and best use is given. There's certain things that can be done and certain things that can't. Uh, and there's certain things that the city can do and there's certain things that they can't. And we're trying to work through all of them right now. Do you like the idea that they proposed? The well, it's a, it's a, it, let me say this. There are a lot of projects that get proposed to the state through the Housing Finance Authority or to the Bond Commission that I don't necessarily have to like or dislike. There's some things that under zoning laws and financial mechanism, the city doesn't have much to say. I want this property to be used as it's supposed to be used. Um, as you know, you can see the development of housing. Downtown takes a bunch of different forms. Um, we, we expect that whatever is put there is done in great taste and one that's consistent with what this particular use is. Still all plans for the Sanger are now fully funded from this point forward. And how will that change the construction we're already seeing there? What will we see moving forward? Let me ask you about fully funding. I think the answer to that is yes. This is a $51 million package. All of the money is in place. All the financing is in place. And I'm told the construction is going to begin full bore uh, as we speak. And the intended completion date is May of 2013. I am kind of reminded them of our doctrine on time, on task, and on the budget. And everybody told me that they're going to hit those marks, right? <laughs> Absent something that we can't control. So we're really excited about that. Uh, and of course, you're going to see that also hit the ground at the same time you see the streetcar construction being done. You've been watching the Joy Theater uh, kind of doing their soft opening that turned on their lights a couple of weeks ago. I believe the first concert is going to be there tonight. Right? Irma Thomas is going to headline uh, that particular effort. And so, again, you see a lot of development spurring other development. What's beginning to happen in the city is the private investment market is starting to regain tremendous confidence in the city of New Orleans, all of the statistics relating to economic development in the city of New Orleans are up. Um, per capita income is up, property values are up, unemployment is down, private investment is up dramatically, and of course that's a stark contrast, knock on wood, uh, to what's going on all around the country. And I think some of it comes from individuals like this basically you know, laying a stake in the ground and saying we think New Orleans is worth investing in, and that's why it's just such a beautiful opportunity for the city and plus it's such a majestic piece of property and so important to the history of the city and to the future of the city. I can't think of a better way uh, to give people confidence in New Orleans is on our way back. Anybody else on this topic? Great. Anybody Thank else? you. One for more. Is there anything to report on the uh, on the lows? That would be the missing link in the three theaters. Not at the moment. Thank you. Wait for the encore, Frank. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right.